You know what I'm saying? Even though we're talking about it, and that's why we can't take what we're learning right here. You're going to have to soak it in and get it. Because when he come at you, he coming at you hard, and you're going to have to put the Holy Spirit, so he'll bring it back to your remembrance, everything that we learn. He'll bring it back to your remembrance, but you got to be willing to say, okay, I'm going to listen to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. just, just like I got uh, upset. And before I before I got ready to do some stuff, I know I'm going to, I had, you know, I come and say, you know what, I'm going to go. I had to go head on and remove myself. Mm -hmm. Because flesh wanted to just, just tear up some stuff. Amen. Just be real. Mm -hmm. Want to tear it up and want to think about no passing no nothing. But the Holy Spirit said, uh-uh. And see, we got to be able to catch when Holy Spirit saying, uh-uh, and going on and move somewhere, God, I need you to help me. Because I know that ain't right what I did. I know that ain't right what I, even what I was thinking about to do. But I need you to help me until you calm yourself down. Because see, that devil will have them thoughts coming over and you don't want to let it go. And yet, the more you think about it, the more you mad and you want to just go and do some stuff. And he said, uh-uh. Tell. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. And if you don't, if you don't pay attention to it, that spirit of truth, yeah, it'll take hold of you, and you'll be like, you know what? I'm right. trying to go. <laughs> right. Okay. And, and that's what that devil would do. He would do stuff like that because he wants you to respond. But Jesus said, but you gotta remember. What I did for you, I gave you power. That that situation, how you used to work, how you used to be, has been crucified. Mm -hmm. That old Elisa is dead. You let her stay dead. Please. Don't <laughs> bring her back. Let her stay dead. Okay, see that enemy, man. You know what? They taking you to be a punk. You know what? They 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 they, they, they just thinking you ain't got a cause. You say you got Jesus. No. See, you got to understand, you know what, uh-uh. I ain't going to let that devil fool me because he'll have you into a situation and you don't know how to get out of it. Because you don't did some stuff you had no business doing. And see, that's why he said, no, you got to remember what I did. What I did for you, you got to understand it was crucified. See, look at verse 20. He said, when you were slaves to sin... You were free from the control of righteousness. Y'all hear that? See, when you was a slave to sin, you was able to do what you want to do, say what you want to say. It don't matter who like it. You don't care. He said, what benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Think about it. How many times you don't say some ugly stuff and now you're ashamed of what you say? You don't did some stuff and you say, Lord, I get to think about stuff I did. I said, Lord Jesus. Holy Lord, please don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. <laughs> you did some stuff like that. That was the old me. She dead. She dead. She dead. And see, that was the word of God, the truth. And now you're you ashamed of that. He said, but those things result in death. See, that devil will try to hype you up to do that stuff. And he's saying it result in death. He said, but now you have been set free from sin at him and have become slaves to God. The benefit you reap leads to holiness. Mm -hmm. And the result is to eternal life. He said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. See, but when we do it God's way, he said, see, now that's preparing you to walk in holiness and righteousness. Because, see, because you won't told them thoughts, devil, you's a liar. I cast you down. Yeah, you may have to deal with them spirits for a couple of uh, moments, but you know what? But you deal with it until you get victory. Because you keep on saying, no, because of what Jesus did on the cross, I ain't got to deal with it. Amen. I ain't got to deal with it. Amen. Turn your Bibles to 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. Because, see, when you look at 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, Look at verse 3. He said, Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of law 